Okay, so the main courses are here. And Frank, uh, who's an avid fisherman, and we're gonna get into some of the dishes. I made a dish, uh, fresh tile fish that he butchered for us. And I made a broccoli raw pesto. Uh, we have a veal milanese with a nice salad on top. Very summery, very light for the, uh, for the hot months. Uh, soft shell crab with a corn and black bean relish salsa. And um, he does, he, he breads the um, soft shell with panko breadcrumbs, which is a thicker Japanese breadcrumb. A chicken ro ro romana with eggplant, ham, and mozzarella. Yes, mozzarella and yes, marinara. Marinara, yes, yes. and then the sea, uh, a bass with uh, sea scallops over salad and avocado. So first we're gonna try uh, my, my tile fish with the broccoli raw pesto. And you get to try this uh, yourself, Frank. Thank you. I garnished it with some avocado. And it's yours. Oh, you take that. Here we go. You know what's missing is that broccoli rob kick. Mm. You know, it's that... I don't like it overly bitter, but... I'm not really taking some broccoli rob. Okay, what's next here? All right, the veal milanese. Veal milanese with chopped salad and a little fresh mozzarella in it too. Fresh mozzarella. A little salad. You put your own veal and pound it? Yes. Mm-hmm, very good. Vinaigrette. Yes. Tomato, simple salad. Yes, chopped salad with some fresh tomatoes, fresh mozzarella. And olive oil with vinaigrette. I like it. Fresh mozzarella. Okay. And this we have a panko crusted soft shell. So, you fish since you're a kid. Yes. You have a big boat that you go out with a few times a week? Yep. You catch everything. You catch, yep, whatever's swimming, whatever we could. So you appreciate boat. great fish. Now, you, when you do that for fun, but you go to the market, pick out your fish. Yes. And being around fish your whole life, I mean, yes. obviously freshness um, and preparation is very important. Yes, I'm very picky what I buy, and uh, you know, it's gotta be fresh. And this morning you brought in pile fish. We, I saw you yes. butcher it. Yes. And you can time. tell how fresh it is. I mean, the gills were the, the, the eyes were clear, and the gills were nice and red. And yes, all, it was all beautiful. My, all my fishes. I, I don't buy anything filleted. It's all whole. You I butcher fillet it all. It, fillet as I need it. It's buried in the ice. I fillet it as I need it. Well, that's great. Well, I mean, it takes someone that's in the you know to, to be around fish to know what they want and something really looks good at the market, you bring it into the restaurant, that's really good. The soft shell crabs are coming in season right now. Yep, this is the time of the year. And um, I love soft shell crabs. You made this with panko. Panko and it's uh, pan seared until it's crispy. I gotta have a little more sauce because I'm a sauce guy. Perfect, really good. I like it. Thank you, Joe. All right. Okay, we have a chicken romano, breast of chicken romano with uh, baked eggplant. Baked eggplant. And uh, marinara, mozzarella. And ham. And a ham and a, a sherry wine sauce. Sherry wine sauce. Sweet sherry wine sauce. Yeah. Like butter. Yeah. Because it simmers, yeah, it simmers in the pan. Yeah. Just pouring that taste more sauce. The sauce is delicious. Very nice. Okay, and then we have uh, the grilled uh, grilled bass and uh, sea scallops in a mojito sauce. I, have, I love scallops. And these are dry scallops. Dry scallops, yeah. Not, not processed, not chemical treated. All right, what people scallops. don't know is that they 
blow up scallops right, with, the, with chemicals with, and, yeah, and, a, and water down. Yeah, These are the dry scallops, yeah. which is a big difference and they're so much sweeter. What's the sauce again? It's a mojito sauce. Mojito sauce. sauce. Which is fre fresh mint, olive oil, lime juice, and a little sim simple syrup. The thing I like about this restaurant is that it's an Italian restaurant, but it uses avocado, corn, black bean, cilantro, um, lime, you know, things that you don't normally see, uh, scallions, you know, stuff like that. So it makes the dishes a lot more interesting. And that's what I like. I always like to find interesting dishes, things I don't normally eat. I like the standbys, but you tell about a restaurant and the ingredients that he use. You can see that the guy in the kitchen likes cooking, tries different things, and that's a compliment to you. Absolutely. And to the, uh, the kitchen staff, and this is delicious. I almost dipped it in sauce again, sorry. Uh -huh. Spicy mayo. Fish is perfect on the grill. I didn't like fish. I've been aged salmon, like seared, raw. Mm -hmm. And of course sushi or sashimi. But the fish is cooked perfect. The scallops, the bass, I got a dip, sorry. I love your sauce. All the entrees were delicious, I have to Thank say. You. Thank you. I picked them out when I wanted to try, but also because that I definitely wanted to try his fish. And um, from the appetizers to the pastas to the entrees, I've really been impressed. We're going to have dessert now, which they make in so many restaurants by out, which is not a bad thing, but you know that they're, you know, have experienced cooks in the kitchen if they're making their own desserts. So we're gonna move on to desserts. I'm gonna finish some of these, drink a little vino, and we'll be right back. Thank you, Joe. I feel like I just broke for commercial. <laughs> Thank you.